You know, when you work on a farm, routine can be your best friend. Seeing that chores happen when they should, as they should, day after day. But we need to be careful that bad habits don't creep in and make your routines dangerous. So let's talk about the good habits you and your crew should be sure and stick to when handling livestock, whether it be pigs, sheep, goats, or cattle. Cattle are animals with a herding instinct, which means they will follow the behavior and movement a dominant leader demonstrates. Here cows are being moved to the barn. Notice how the cow pushers gently move them along without hitting or yelling at the cows. A simple hand on the back or a nudge is typically enough to get the animals to move. Combining your friendly manner with the animal's herding instinct is the best way to load animals. When needed, the rattle, strange shape, and gentle nudge of a paddle will be more than enough to coax the cows into a trailer. Cattle see the world differently from you or me. They can see all around and only have a blind spot directly in back. Being able to see all around them means cattle can be distracted by motion off to their side. However, they don't see the world in as clear a focus as we do, so it takes them more time to process what they are seeing. They also don't see as well down below them, so a dark shadow can appear to be a deep hole. This is why cattle may balk at shadows or a piece of trash on the ground. The flight zone is an animal's personal space or comfort zone. The flight zone for cattle may be 5 to 25 feet, depending on how often they have been handled. The flight zone increases when the approach is from the head and also increases when they are excited. The flight zone decreases when the animals are in a single file shoot. Cattle will normally move more effectively if the handler stays to the edge of the flight zone. Getting too close inside the flight zone may cause an animal to panic. In this illustration, position A is the area outside of the flight zone, where animals will stop moving forward. Moving into position B inside the flight zone will cause the animal to move away from the handler. Chutes are often used to single out an animal for treatment or to direct them into an enclosed area. Because of herd behavior, it is easier to move cattle in groups of two or three. One of the best ways to get animals to move in a chute is to walk past their point of balance. Point of balance is a place on the animal near their right shoulder. When you stand in front of it, they should back up. When you stand behind it, they should move forward. Bulls can be very dangerous. Every year, people are killed by bulls on the farm. Generally, dairy bulls are more dangerous than beef bulls. Always be aware where a bull is when you are in a pen with them. It is best to have two people working together to watch out for each other and to distract the animal if it gets aggressive towards one of you. So be careful and never trust a bull. Always have an escape route planned when working in a pen with a bull. So those are some good habits you and your crew should always use when handling any livestock. Be quietly gentle when moving livestock. Be aware of their limited visual abilities, their flight zone and point of balance. And always be careful to never trust a bull.